Hey everyone, Oswan on 007 here to do my WrestleMania 26 review. Um, not not much you can really say. That was amazing, amazing. For people who haven't seen it, this is buy the replay as soon as you can. Okay, um, yeah, you need to watch it. Uh, this is a spoiler. Um, this is a spoiler review as well. So if you don't want to hear the results, don't listen. Okay, so the pay per view started off with Show Miz versus. John Morrison and R-Truth. Uh, it was an okay match. It ended by uh, Big Show giving the knockout punch to John Morrison from a blind tag off the Miz. And as Morrison was going for the um, as Morrison was going for the uh, chuck kick, uh, Big Show knockout punched him. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it was actually. Um, John Morrison dominated this match, um, pretty much. Uh, the only the only thing that didn't that didn't make him look good is at the end where he got knocked out of punch by the Big Show. Um, so an okay match, uh, nothing real special in it. Two and three quarter stars. Next match. Now this this match was a very this is a huge surprise for me how good this match was. Ted DiBiase versus Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton. Um, this was a really good match. I, I reckon that there'll be some mixed reviews on here, but I love this match. I wanted to give it four stars, but it just didn't quite make it there. Um, it ended with Randy Orton winning uh, by, well, pretty much Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes uh, teamed up for most of the match. And then at the end, uh, Ted DiBiase went for a pin. Uh, Rhodes, was, Rhodes got pissed off and... Um, and attacked him, uh, and so they turned against each other like usual team stuff does. And uh, Randy Orton took the better of it, and set kick punted Cody Rhodes in the head, and then Ted DiBiase came in as it was about to hit the um, Dream Street, and then Randy Orton hit the best one of the best RKO's ever. And pinned Ted DiBiase. Amazing. It was a, not an amazing match. It was a great match. It was three and three quarter stars. Really good. Next match. The disappointing match. This is the the match that I thought could have done a lot better. And, you know, the, the person, Jack Swagger, who won it by hitting, um, by hitting Chris, uh, Christian in the head with the briefcase. Um, Christian, the person I was, wanted to win didn't win jack swagger did um well I, the only reason i can put to this is um jack swagger is the joke of the company at the moment he took santino's spot when santino lost in popularity and he's going to lose the title he's going to go for cash it in extreme rules and not win it's going to be the first person ever to not win the money in the bank and yeah so that's that's what that's what, that's what i reckon is going to happen um, tons of spots though. Everyone hit a bloody finisher except for Christian. Christian didn't hit his kill switch, which was sad for me. I love Christian. <laughs> um, no, nah, but I gave the match a three and a half stars. Probably only worth a three stars, but Christian was in it and Matt Hardy did really well, so I was I was, I was happy by that. Next match. This is the one I thought. This is not the one I thought I'd fall asleep on, but I knew it wasn't going to be that great. Sheamus versus Triple H. I reckon there's going to be some people on here that are going to say terrible match, one half star. I thought it was an okay match. I was on my iPhone at the time during the match, but um, what happened is uh, Sheamus hit the bike kick like twice, and then uh, Triple uh, Sheamus gave a little bit of time. Triple H was faking that he was really injured. And Seamus went for the, um, uh, went to set up the Celtic bomb or whatever, Celtic cross. Um, Triple H got up and pedigreed him. I actually thought Seamus would win to put him over a bit more, but Triple H did. Amazingly. Pretty happy with that. I, I actually, like I said before, I actually thought Seamus would win. I, it would have really helped him, but this, this was, this was good. I guess they just didn't have enough fan favourites winning in the match, in the matches. Um, the the next match, which this this match is the one I thought would steal the show, Rey Mysterio vs CM Punk. Yeah, I'm trying to remember who won. Um, 
Well, it, it was a great match. The crowd was really into it the whole time. Um, some awesome spots. Uh, uh, yeah, some awesome spots, and uh, it this this uh, this is one of the matches that really made the um, made the pay per view, along with the Ted DiBiase Cody Rhodes match. That those two were both great mid card matches. They didn't steal the show, but it did well, and. Uh, Mysterio won. Mysterio won the match. Um, he won it by a six one nine. I think. Yeah, he won it with a six one nine. Um, and that was a really good match. Great counters. Crowd was really into it. Um, also work from Gallows and Serena. Some really good stuff there. Now the next, um, I gave that a three and three quarter stars. Good match. Next match, the one. That, um, this is a match that I thought was going to be like the Shawn Michaels, Vince McMahon match. But really, it was just a fan favourite match to get Brett over with the crowd and to Brett have his Brett screwed Vince McMahon part. He pretty much what happened, uh, Vince came out and said, oh, I bought your family, they're going to be the lumberjacks in this match. And then Brett turns around, obviously, and says, oh, uh, Brett... Uh, Brett, um, now Brett's going to get his chance to screw Brett. Uh, the Hart family is closer than you think. They've all cashed their money in already, and now we're going to beat you. And so pretty much he spent, they spent 25, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, they spent a long time just Brett McMahon beating Brett, uh, Brett Hart beating Vince McMahon. But I in, I don't think, I personally, I'm not sure what Melton's going to think about um, but I gave this an NA, this was just for, just, I think this was sort of time filler, and yeah, uh, so NA, not applicable. Now the next match, Chris Jericho versus Edge, I was pissed off in this match, Chris Jericho, Edge should have beaten Chris Jericho, but fucking, oh my god, um, Chris Jericho, um, that, Chris Jericho just annihilated Edge at the end. Uh, he gave him like two code breakers, uh, hit him in the head with a uh, with the championship, and uh, and as Edge was going for the spear, I believe Chris Jericho gave him the code breaker and beat him with it. Um, but really, it was one of the it was Chris Jericho said before he's got a jinx where when he has a good match, the crowds on the end. But that's that's what I believe happened in this match. This was a good match. But the crowd wasn't into it. I gave this a four and a quarter stars. I think you might get some three three quarter star people on here, but I'm gonna because I love Edge and Chris Jericho. They're in my top tens, so I gave it a four and a quarter stars because I enjoyed the match. Next match, uh, uh, ten diva tag match. I nothing really to Vicky Vicky Guerrero hit the bullfrog splash, um, or the frog splash. They called it a bull the hog splash or something. Dud match, move on. Um, next match, this this surprised me. This is the match I thought I was going to fall asleep on. Like, in, I know you're usually going to Randy Orton matches. But um, this was awesome match. The crowd was tons into it. And oh, the, the way it ended was awesome. I gave this a four and a half stars. I was thinking, I, I thought I was going to be giving this a two and a half. Amazingly, this, this was really... An awesome match, really good match. Um, fast paced ending, just how I like the endings. Beautiful. Um, there might be some foreign uh, four star matches, four star. Now, the match. This isn't this stole the show. The main event, the one that everyone was waiting for. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. This was an amazing match. I'm calling this the greatest match ever. Shawn Michaels did lose, I'm sorry to say. He lost when he's, he, he'd just gone through the tombstone, kicked out. Uh, he was slowly, he was crawling up Undertaker. Undertaker said, just stay down. Shawn Michaels did the uh, Undertaker's um, cut neck and eyes and stuff. Then slapped him and then, he just, then Undertaker just turned around, tombstoned him and won the match. Shawn Michaels went out. In amazing fashion, awesome spot where Michaels moonsaulted off the top rope. 
into Undertaker on the table. Amazing pay-per-view. Um, I just got to finish up now, guys. I'm out of time. Uh, amazing match. Everyone has to watch this. I gave the pay-per-view a 10 out of 10. This is best. This beats 19, 17. Best ma- it, it had the best match. It beat it beat the um, it beat the um, Iron Man match at WrestleMania 12. Okay, guys. I am a Swanton uh, 007. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I'm out. Thanks for watching.